life. What a great mystery for man. I look around the world, I really ask myself, what puzzle is this? What is this life all about? Who made us? Who made the world? Where did we come from? Where are we going to? You know, this is a question that resounds throughout the whole of creation. Creation is, is, is hungry for answers. Man worries about the purpose, the meaning of life. What does it mean to live? What does it mean to achieve in this world? You know, different sources will give you different concepts, theories about what life is all about. Scientists will tell you about a big bang, but this world originated because there was a big bang of energy and we had atoms that combined and we have what we have today. Some people will tell you that it came from one man but as a Christian philosopher and theologian, I will tell you that the world we are living in was made by a supreme being, God Almighty. God made man. He made the whole of creation. He made creation for man to enjoy of it. But, but, God made man for himself. That is a very crucial point. That is what we must come to realize that the essence of man's life is God. The life of man is to know and to love God. That is the singular purpose. All the rest are meant to bring us to that chain, to narrow us along that canal of life, which is about knowing and loving God. But most often we are easily distracted. Oh look, all we have around us makes us to worry, to, to deviate from the natural path. Because man came from God and man is supposed to go back to God. Every other thing around is just like I'll call a mere appendage. They are just branches to the main trunk, the trunk of life that is Jesus the Christ. This is something very, very essential as notion that we must comprehend. For a man to really live, it means he must seek union, he must seek friendship with God. A man realizes his dreams if he puts God first. For even the Bible says, what shall profit a man if he gains the whole world, the houses, the fame, prestige, and loses his soul? I know in this present life, this fast changing world, it is quite difficult for us to hold that basic notion to ourselves. But I urge you, I urge you to persevere in prayer, to persevere in the search for God. Because only God has a secret to our lives. Every man is a divine project. And if you don't come to, to find out, to discern what God has in store for you, what, what purpose, what mission God has for you, then I bet you, you are not living. Sad enough, we'll say you will live and die without living. For to live means to follow God. For man's life is all about his way to God. Thank you.